In a village, there lived a rich man named Narayana Shetty. One day, he was going to a distant village when he encountered Kotaya, a villager. Shetty Garu, the whole house collapsed. If it is not repaired soon, my family will have to stand under the tree. Would you please lend me 200 rupees? I will pay you a debt when I sell the grains. He pleaded. Narayana Shetty was a gentleman. Seeing Kotaya, he took out 200 rupees from the money he had. Even when Kotaya's crop was sold later, the debt was not settled as planned. Another crop arrived, but he did not clear the debt yet. One day, Narayana Shetty approached Kotaya, said, "What, Kotaya? The debt is not paid. A year went by. It's the second year. When will you give me those two hundred?" He said, "What money?" Kotaya asked in surprise. "The two hundred rupees you took to repair the house. Do you remember?" said Shetty. You should have the document if I forgot. Just send it, then I'll definitely pay," said Kotaya. "I thought you would pay it back soon, and I didn't agree any agreement with you," said Shetty in panic. "This is so good. Even if you're rich, will you ask me money I don't owe you?" said Kotaya with a firm voice. People gathered and asked Shetty and Kotaya what was the matter. Shetty recounted what happened, and Kotaya denied it. This was something village head has to decide. Let's all go there," said the people in the village. "I am not afraid. I shall say the same thing in front of village head," Kotaya said and walked in the front. The village head was very intelligent. He heard everything Sati said and listened to Kotaya too. "Am I a beggar? Why would I take debt of two hundred? My house is blessed with the seeds that come from my field. If Sati really gave me a loan for two years, why does he not have any evidence of mine? Why?" Kotaya said, "The village head turned towards Shetty. Shetty ji, why did you give the money to Kotaya? Did anyone witness when you were giving money?" He asked. "No one, sir. We were under the banyan tree at that time, and I thought I could give him the money. Then he will repay me later," said Shetty in sorrow. "Oh, great." Let the witness be the banyan tree. You may go and tell that banyan tree I asked for its presence," said the village head to the shetty. Then shetty asked, "Will the banyan tree come and testify?" Said hesitantly, "What will it do if I asked it to come? It does not have any choice but to come. Go and tell that banyan tree, and come back on your way. We will all wait for you here," said the village head. All those who reached there have been baffled by village head's words. Kotaya's happiness was no longer seen. Completely mind blown, he inwardly laughed and rejoiced that no one would prove him wrong anymore. After spending some time, the village head said, "What Kotaya? Shetty must have reached there by now, right?" He asked. "Nah, nah, not yet. It is one and a half mile away. Besides, it's raining. The pond place is muddy. However, it is very difficult to compare the real one amongst all the banyan trees," said Kotaya. The village head slapped Kotaya's back with a stick. "You thief! You even know under which tree Shetty gave you money!" he shouted. Everyone was stunned by the trick played by the village head. Kotaya admitted the debt and paid Shetty the amount, including interest. Kotaya could not lift his head around the village after that. To help someone who doesn't have gratitude is a waste of one person's kindness. But in the end, Narayana Shetty's goodness won. Kotaya fraud came out. This was possible due to clever thinking of village head. Asking banyan tree to testify is to divert Kotaya's thought, and he fell for the trick. With the clever thinking, you can find solution to any tricky problem.